Morning, everyone. How are we? Give us a thumbs up if you can hear me. Hi, how are we? How are you going? Uh, it's good to see everyone. We've got Chase, Lockie, Colton. we got Zach, Cody. Hey, guys. Raf, Zara, Leon. Awesome. All right, guys. So really quickly, <clears throat> I'm just going to go over our session plan. Obviously, today's session is the bounce session. So it's a plyometric program. So for those of you that don't know exactly what that means, essentially, it's like a jumping program. So we're working on our, our, our jumping. Hey, we're working on our jumping and landing technique. Um, but we're also going to work on some explosiveness as, as you will have seen. Sorry about my dog in the background here. As you will have seen in uh, the, the, uh, on, the, on the schedule, hopefully you have seen the equipment that you'll need. So for this session, uh, you will obviously you'll need your drink bottle. You will need a basketball later on. Yep. You will need a skipping rope or you, you'll need some space to be able to do some, some pogo hops and simulate that skipping movement. You will need a yoga mat or a soft uh, soft surface to be able to do our, our core activation and our warm up. Um, and if possible with this session, and, and look, it's not a, it's not a a must have today. But if you've got a, a hoop, a basketball hoop that can lower um, to a height that you can touch or grab. Now I know that's going to be really difficult for our twelves, probably our fourteens, maybe even some of our sixteens because the majority of hoops only lower to eight foot. And that's still going to be reasonably tough for you to try and dunk on. But for our older kids, particularly for like our top age 16s, maybe even some of our bottom age 16s, and certainly our 18s that are joining in, that lowerable hoop um, is a really, really great way to work on sports-specific jumping. Um, it's not even so much about dunking. It, it might just be about getting up as high as you possibly can, touching the rim, touching the backboard, but having a ball in your hands and simulating that that take off that leaping movement is, is really, really uh, beneficial. So that's going to make up about the last 10 minutes of today's session. So if you don't have a lowerable hoop today or at all through the program, don't feel as though you can't do this program. You certainly can. Um, we're just going to, I'm just going to move outside to my lowerable hoop for the last 10 minutes, but you can continue to do the program indoors or wherever you are without a lowerable hoop. Okay. So Let's get moving. We've got our warm up, which is just skipping for 30 seconds and 10 body weight squats. As you can see, I'm inside today. Okay. I'm indoors. Um, so I'm, I'm just going to be doing my pogo hops, which is fine for everyone else to be doing. So pogo hops, we're going to go for 30 seconds. All right. If you've got a skipping rope, great. If you're outdoors and you're able to do the skipping for 30 seconds, terrific. Otherwise, we're just pogo hops on the spot. For those that haven't done pogo hops before, it's just exact same movement as skipping, okay? We're not letting our heels touch the ground, so we're on the balls of our feet. We're staying explosive, so we're trying to reduce that ground impact time, and we're just bouncing as quickly as we possibly can without, without letting our heels touch the ground and without really bending our knees and hips too much, all right? So 30 seconds pogo hops in three, two, one. Here we go, 30 seconds up and away from the camera. Let's get our bodies moving here. So we're warming up our lower limbs. We're gonna do this for 30 seconds. We're into body weight squats. Then we're gonna do some A skips, okay? So a little bit of upper body, lower body. Getting the two worker. Okay, good. We're gonna go for about 15 more seconds here. With all of these stay ready sessions, the live ones, you can have your camera on if you like. And, and myself and the other coaches will give as much feedback as possible, or you can have it off. It doesn't matter too much. Three, two, one. Good. Okay. We're straight into 10 body weight squats now. So for those that haven't done body weight squats before or any sort of a squat, we want our feet about hip distance apart and we're sitting down on that imaginary chair behind us. Okay. So we're going to go 10. Do that at your own pace. Try and keep your back straight, keep your core locked in. I like to imagine there's a piece of string tied from my sternum here, my chest to my belly button. Don't let that piece of string stretch and snap and don't let it, don't let it loosen off. Keep that distance from here to here the same the whole way. It's a good way to imagine that you've got to try and keep your core locked in and keep your back straight. 
Good job. So 10 body weight squats. And then we're gonna go straight into A skips. So what an A skip is, is essentially, I'm gonna start with my, my right knee up, my left leg down, and I'm gonna start with my left arm up, my right arm back, okay? And all we're doing is, again, we're sort of skipping on the spot, but we're driving that knee up, okay? So it's that same sort of skipping motion, but we're getting that knee drive, okay? So can be a little bit harder for uh, the coordination of this movement if you've never done it before. I'd advise you to start exactly how I did, right leg up, left arm up, come down and bounce on that right foot. And you just, it's almost like a high knees, but you're just adding a second bounce in between, okay? We're gonna do that for 30 seconds and then we're into our arabesque. So the arm drive is just as important as the knee drive, all right? So right arm up, left arm up. Here we go, three, two, one. A skip, so driving that knee up and you'll see why that's gonna become really important later in the session as we do some sports specific takeoffs. Good job, good job. So opposite hand to that knee. Good job. Good work, good work, good work. Here we go, 10 seconds. So again, only the ball of the foot hitting the ground. Three, two, one. Good job, okay. Now we've got our arabesques. So I'm gonna keep my right foot down and I'm kicking my left foot back. So we've done these before. If you haven't done these before with me, right foot's down, left foot's up. I'm kicking my left leg back out behind me, keeping it nice and active. And I've got my chest pointing to the ground. Should feel a nice stretch in that right hamstring, but my core's active as well. Swing through and up. We'll do five on either leg. Here we go. Five on each leg. We're kicking that leg out behind us. Whoop. We'll test your balance out a little bit as well. Get our core nice and warm for the morning. Five on each side. Good job. Once you're ready, swap over. Guys, as always, throughout any of these sessions during the week, if you've got any questions, chuck them in the chat. Okay, or, or you, you're welcome to turn your microphone on and, and ask a question. I'll do my best to answer it in the, in the session. Otherwise, all of these sessions are being recorded so they can be uploaded later. This session, this bounce session is, is about explosiveness. So it's about quality of reps rather than quantity. So there will be some rest periods and things like that. There will be a little bit of sitting and standing still. Basically, the idea is quanti uh, quality over quantity, really good quality reps. So this is a session you could probably do a couple of times a week if you felt like it, okay? And if you weren't doing too much other training on your own. Uh, but otherwise, I think once a week is probably going to be enough with the other sessions. So just checking. Oh, no worries. I can see that message there from you, Beth. So, and, and another good point, if you've got any injuries, if you've got, particularly for sessions like this, lower leg injuries, let me know, okay? And I'll give you a lower impact version of, of the exercise you can do. So now we're gonna grab our yoga mats and we're gonna do our core and activation. So I'm gonna just lower my camera down here. Grab our yoga mats. Our first exercise is an old favorite. It's our glute bridge. Get our mats out here. So we've got our glute bridge exercise, which we're doing for 10. And then we've got a side plank. So as you can, as you'll see, the other thing is we'll uh we'll be uploading the session plans for all of these sessions. So we'll upload a PDF of the bounce week one session after this session. You'll see in the notes here, this is described as a superset 
Essentially what that means is you do one exercise, then you do the exercise under it, and then you take a break, okay? So if you see superset in any of the terminologies that we use throughout this program, what that means is you do two exercises back to back without a break, and then you would take your rest, all right? So with our glute bridges, we're down on our back. We've got our feet flat on, on the floor. Okay, if you're not sure how far away to have your feet from your body, you should be able to, you should be able to twist to the side there. You should be able to twist to the side and touch your heels. Okay, what we're doing from here, from a flat back position, we've got our heads on the ground and we're just pushing through our heels, up, squeezing our glutes until we've got a straight line from our shoulders to our knees and then come back down. Okay, we're doing 10 of these. So push up through your glutes, squeeze glutes, come back down, okay? 10 of these, do these at your own pace. And down. So really important that we get our heart rate up with our warm up. okay? So everyone should be pretty warm. And then we need to activate, especially with jumping and sprinting any time before a game, really important that we're activating the big core muscles of which our glute our glutes are the biggest, okay? They often get forgotten, but glute bridges or some sort of a band exercise is really important before we start our sessions. Okay, once we've done 10 glute bridges, I'll wait till everyone's facing the camera again, no rush. We're gonna go into a side plank. Okay, so a side plank again, we've got variations of this. We're on our elbow, so our elbow needs to be directly underneath our shoulder. You can have your knees stacked on top of each other and you can come up onto your knees like so, all right? Or if you want a little bit of an extra challenge, um, you've done enough planks in your life to this point, you can stack your feet and come up onto your feet, okay? So it's, we're just one elbow down. We've got everything between our elbow and our feet or our knees off the ground, okay? So you can start lying on your side. When I say go, we're gonna come up into that side plank keeping everything up off the ground. Here we go, three, two, one. So 30 seconds here. So again, we're just warming up our core now. Really important if we're gonna be doing a lot of explosive work to make sure our core's nice and activated. So 30 seconds either side for our side plank. Make sure as always through any core movement, we're controlling our breathing. So big, deep breaths, preferably in through your nose, out through your mouth. Five seconds, three, two, one. Okay, come down and swap to the other side. So same thing on the other side. You're either on your feet, you've got your feet stacked on either side or you're on your knees, up to you. I'm gonna go on my feet here. Three, two, one, up we come. So I'm on my right elbow now. You should have done one side. If you started on your left elbow, you should now be on your right elbow and vice versa. So we're working out what we call our obliques here. So they're those muscles of our abdominals that are down the side there, down the side of our trunk. So really good for rotational movements and, and for stopping rotation as well, which can be really important sometimes. Helps us with change of direction, helps us with explosiveness. We go five seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Great work. <clears throat> okay. Our last exercise down on the mat before we get into our plyometric session is a dead bug rocker. So what that looks like is we're on our back. Again, this time we've got knees directly above our hips. Okay, so they're off the ground. We've got our hands straight up, okay? Straight up from our shoulder so we look like a dead bug, okay? And what we're doing is if I'm gonna drop, I'm gonna drop my right leg, this one that's furthest from the camera, I drop my right leg, sorry, and I'm gonna drop my left arm, okay? So again, alternate arms and legs, I bring them back together and then I drop my right arm and my left leg. Once I've dropped either side, then I'm just gonna rock up into like a little sit up and drop back down. So I go, so I'm gonna go again, I'm gonna go right leg, left arm, 
back up, left leg, right arm. And then I'm just gonna rock forward, tap my heels to the ground and come up. Oh, sorry, come back down. Right leg, left arm, drop it back. Left leg, right arm and rock up. Okay, we're gonna do five of these total. So it's gonna be 10 on either side, 10, 10 total for these. So one, two, and then I rock forward, tap my heels down and I rock back into my dead bug position. Okay. Opposite arm, opposite leg. And then I rock and I should be starting to really feel that in my core. That's good. Doesn't have to be perfect today, guys. The session plan is gonna stay, stay relatively similar throughout. We're just gonna add little, little portions, maybe add a couple of exercises in or add a couple of extra sets. Once you're done with the dead bug rockers, everyone looks like they're doing a really good job. You can come up off your mat. Our last activation exercise is a little bit of a, uh, I guess a foot strength, ankle strength, um, and a balance exercise. So you can roll your mat up if you're on a mat. Otherwise you can just jump up. Now this exercise is a, a really interesting one. I'll put my camera back up here. Everyone's rolling up their mats. Good job. Good job, Colton. Good job if you're outside and you've got the yoga mat out on the driveway. I respect that. Well done. So this exercise, you guys might be a bit young to know who Michael Jackson is, but this exercise is called a Michael Jackson lean. So if there's any parents listening in, they'll know what this looks like and what this means. So Michael Jackson was a singer and a dancer, obviously. And he was well known for being able to do some really interesting dance moves. This exercise is really good to strengthen the muscles of our feet, our ankles, and our calves. So all we're trying to do, and you might need to do this up against a wall, okay? I'm gonna just demonstrate side on here, and then I'm probably gonna do my last couple against the wall. But what you need to be able to do is to keep your feet flat on the ground, okay? Keeping your feet flat on the ground, keeping your legs straight and your hips locked in. And we're just trying to lean forward as far as we can without falling forward. So you don't wanna fall forward like that. So we're gonna stand up straight. The way you do this really well is you dig your toes into the carpet or into the ground. You'll feel your feet sort of grab and try and keep you balanced. So we're leaning forward like so without falling forward, okay? If my heels come off the ground, I've gone too far, but that's okay. We're gonna do 10 of those. So you guys might've even seen a couple of videos of Kyrie Irving doing these. Again, someone who's really balanced, low to the ground, can change direction. So yes. we're leaning forward. Yes, someone did see those, yeah. Now they were fake, I'm pretty sure those videos, because he was leaning like 45 degrees. I reckon they were fake, but I can't do that. I don't have great balance. So we're just gonna do the best that we can. So digging our toes in, just do 10 of these in your own time. Then we're gonna move into the plyometrics exercises. As the weeks go on with these sessions too, guys, the sessions will start to get a bit quicker because I may not have to um, explain every exercise, but being the first session, I probably just need to go through each exercise a little bit. Next week, I'll go through explanations a little bit less, but I'll still explain because we might have some, some new kids joining in. But remember, you can always watch back the recording and hear the explanations of each exercise. And these session plans will all be uploaded. So you guys can go back and do these. You might wanna do the bounce session again on, on Wednesday or Friday, you know, once you've recovered from today. But as I mentioned with the bounce and with the first step session, it's all about quality, not quantity. So you may not get a massive sweat up for the session. You're not gonna be doing a lot of ball handling and running around, but what we will get is quality, quality reps of that explosive movement. So once you've done 10 Michael Jackson leans, again, coming forward as far as you can, digging those toes into the ground without falling forward, grab a quick drink. That's the end of our, our core and activation. Now we're going into, now we're going into our plyometrics, all right? So we've got plyometrics and we've got basketball specific to finish off again. We've got two, two sets. Um, we've got two sets of two supersets for plyometrics. And then we've just got the two exercises for our basketball specific. So you won't need any equipment again for these first two plyometric exercises. 
you won't need any uh, yeah you won't need any equipment you'll just need some space okay does anyone have any questions while we've got a quick break just changing my screen so I can see everyone so good to see everyone good job to get here in the morning we're going to get outside pretty soon and do some sports specific stuff on the hoops you feel free to fire away any questions as well so some of the younger kids it's still really beneficial for you guys to be able to do the sport specific portion of this now obviously an eight foot hoop you may not be able to dunk on an eight foot hoop there are hoops at Kmart. I know I keep spending your parents' money, but there are hoops at Kmart. We bought some earlier this year for mini hoops for the little three and three to five year olds. They lower to six foot. So they come down to about this height here. Okay. And they can actually, they're, they're uh, oh, Chase has a question. Do you have a question, Chase? Just chuck on your microphone, mate. Uh, oh, we actually don't know what's the car reaction thing. No, we're not going to watch it, mate. I'm not going to link in that video. You guys can watch that in your own time if you want. <laughs> Good question. But yeah, the little hoops you can get, not the little plastic hoops, but there's little Kmart ones that go from about eight foot down to about six foot. And, and I reckon most of you'd be able to dunk on those. And that that would still be really beneficial for, for our 12s and 14s. All right, so our plyometric exercises. What we've got here is called, it's called a penultimate acceleration. Okay, so... You're just gonna need a little bit of space, probably about two meters, three meters in front of you. So what we're doing here is we're working on, so, so much of plyometrics, when I say plyometrics, or when I say jump jump and, uh, uh, you know, trying to dunk a bar, everyone just thinks about the takeoff. Everyone just thinks about getting to here and just bending down and jumping as high as you can. We don't work that much on the buildup. And the buildup, okay, or the acceleration into our jump, can be probably even more important than the takeoff itself. So what we're gonna do here is an exercise called penultimate acceleration. And then we're gonna superset that with a penultimate max touch, okay? So I'm gonna show you quickly here in the video first. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna, I need about probably two meters in front of me. A penultimate acceleration, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna take off with my right leg first, okay? But all we're doing is we're gonna go right leg, Okay, so we're planting our right leg. We're just going right and then left. Okay, so that's what it looks like there. So we're pushing off really explosively off of our left leg and we're just going right, left and coming down almost. So almost as if we're about to take off into a jump, but we don't take off. Now the key to this exercise, because you guys could just be doing it at home and you could just go right, left and stand here. And you'd be like, that's not helping me. The key is to push off as far as you can with that first step. So that left leg, so we're pushing there and that's gonna help propel us up. That momentum helps to propel us up. Does anyone, we got a question there? Is that Hunter? If you've got a question, just chuck on your microphone because I step away from the, the camera. I might not be able to hear, hear you. Uh, when we go outside, um, so, so about the dunking thing, um, so um, are you in, um, should we do like practicing? Like I've got a ring that can, um, I can put it at a level that I can dunk on. So yep. um, do you think that would be good for practicing sometimes? Yes, definitely. Yep, just for plyometrics, not for practicing shooting and stuff like that, not really. But for what we're about to do, I'll show you when we get outside and, and you'll see what I mean there. Okay. All right, so our penultimate, our penultimate acceleration, you're going to do five on each leg, five on each leg. So we're, I'm going to start with my stepping forward with my right. Okay, so it's just a quick explosive one, two step, okay? So push off. And again, our arms are really important what we do with our arms as well too. So we wanna start with our arms back, okay? Sorry, start with our arms forward. And as we step, we're gonna swing our arms back, okay? So see how I swing my arms back there? So as I step, I push off, my arms are forward here. Okay, so forward, as I step my right leg forward, I swing my arms down and back. Now I'm gonna go the other way. So now I'm gonna go left foot down first, so I'm pushing off and I'm leading with my left foot. So again, I'm swinging those arms back because the next exercise we do, we're gonna take off as high as we can. So we push off, that first step has to be as far as we can get. I don't remember saying doing handstands, Zach Taylor, but I like it. So push off right foot, push off with your right foot, left foot. And again, the key is to get as much distance with that first step as you can. 
So get as much distance, whoa, I nearly tripped over, as much distance with that first step. So if you're pushing off your right leg, get that left leg out as far as you can. Five on each leg. Now, again, I'm indoors, so I gotta be careful. I'm gonna put some marks on the roof here. Now we're going into what we call a penultimate max touch, okay? And you, you'll see the notes in the, in the session. Rest is really important with these exercises, okay? Rest is really important. So we're not, we're not doing these like a high intensity interval session. There will be some time where you might be standing still, sitting down, get a drink. If you're outdoors like Colton there, do some ball handling, do some shooting. I don't mind. As long as you're resting and you're not just jumping the whole time, because the idea is not that we are going to be go, 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 go. Okay, that's going to be tomorrow morning session. That's our hoops fit. That's our fourth quarter fitness, where it will just be 45 minutes of, you know, pretty hard work in terms of getting our heart rate up. This session, technique, okay? All right, so now we superset with a penultimate max touch. So now what we're doing, we're only going to do two on each leg. So I'm going to come back to my right leg being my lead leg. But now I'm actually going to jump as high as I can. Okay, so what that looks like, I'm just going to touch the roof here. All right, so what I'm gonna do is again, I'm taking off, but I'm jumping, okay? So I go straight into my jump. This will be really quick. We're only doing two on each leg. So push off and come up and touch as high as you can. Now, if you're outside already, okay? If you're outside already and you've got your lowerable hoop, you can touch the net or you can touch the rim or whatever you can use. That's the other thing about having a hoop there that can be lowered is it's a really good guide for you to tell you if your jump's improving, okay? So I've just done my two taking off with my right leg. Now I'm doing my two taking off leading with my left foot. Getting up as high as you can. So taking off left foot. Remember, remember to swing those arms back. Good job, excellent. Well done, Cody. Good job, Armstrong's awesome. Good, Colton. So it's just one step, Colton. So you're not taking too many steps, mate. So it's just push off with one. So boom, one, two, boom, boom. Nah, that's all right. Keep working through it. So it's just lead with one leg, boom, boom, and take off. Okay, we're going to build into more steps to, to get more, more elevation. But right now it's just, it's almost like you're pushing off into a big explosive lunge, swinging your arms back and then planting that other foot and taking off up as high as you can. All right, next exercise. So we're moving through this pretty quickly because I'm conscious of time and we're just about at eight o'clock and some of you might have to get going, but we want to get outside and we want to do some sports specific stuff if you've got a hoop. So the next exercise is called, just checking we've got any questions there. No, all good. So the next exercise is called a power skip. And again, a little bit difficult to show you indoors, but if you're outdoors, you'll be able to do this one really well. So remember back to our warm up with our A skips, okay? Like so, same sort of movement, but what we're doing now is we're actually taking off as high as we can. Okay, so we're skipping, but when we plant that foot down, I want you to explode up as high as you can, okay? So can everyone skip? All right, if I, if I was to say, just get outside into some space and just do some skipping. So not necessarily on the spot, but even just skipping along like this. Everyone's pretty comfortable doing that. Yep. So you might need some space. Okay, you might need a little bit of space or you can just be skipping in a line here. All right, so what we're going to do, I've only got three or four meters here in front of me. I'm still gonna be able to do it. So we can make do with the space we have. Okay, what I want you to do is you're gonna do, we're just gonna skip, okay? But every second or third skip, we're gonna get up as high as we possibly can. So what that's gonna look like is I'm skipping, skipping, and then I explode up off one leg, okay? Just keep a count of how many you do on either leg, okay? So that one, I just went off my right leg. We're doing six total, all right? We're doing six, so I need you to do three on either leg. So I'm gonna come back to here. I'm skipping, 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 
and then I take off with my right leg again. Okay, so every second or third skip needs to be get up as high as you possibly can. Skip, skip, up as high as you can. So really push off explosively. So I've got my little bit of space here. I've found that if I lead, if I, if I step with my right leg first, then at my third skip, I'm taking off with my right leg. So if you've only got a couple of meters, take off with your right leg first. You'll go skip right, skip left, take off left, up as high as you can and stretch out with your arm as well. Okay, now I'm gonna do my left side. So I'm gonna lead with my left, skip left, skip right, take off left. Okay, so three on each leg. Skip left, skip right, take off left as high as you can. So that skipping is helping us build that rhythm, build that rhythm and roll through our feet. It's helping teaching us, teaching us proper technique of rolling our body weight through our feet. Good, good Lockie, good job Raf. Job Ruby and take off as high as you can on that second or third one. Job Hunter. Good work, good job. Good Leon. A little bit hard if you've only got a little bit of space inside, but we'll, we'll make do as best we can. Good job, HG kids, skip, skips. Third one, take off, good job. Third one, take off, excellent. One, two, three, up as high as you can on the third one. Well done. Good job. Awesome, guys. All right. So our last plyo exercise before we get outside and we get to a hoop and we do some sports-specific stuff. Our last plyo, plyo exercise. And again, if you're outdoors, you're going to be in a pretty good position for this one because it's just a one-foot approach touch. One-foot approach touch. So what that means is we're going to take three or four steps Okay, so again, if you're inside like me, you need, you need as much space as you can get. If you're outdoors, you guys can already move to your hoop or you can move to, might be the side of your garage, whatever it might be that you, you know you can get up and touch. Okay, use that as a guide each week. So for me, I'm, I'm still indoors. Our one foot approach, I'm just gonna take three or four steps as quickly as I can, okay? So I'm just gonna go one, two, three, and then explode up as high as I can. Okay, so we're just, we're just going without a basketball. Now we're just using our momentum to get up as high as we can now, okay? So three or four steps, doesn't have to be short and sharp. I've only got a little bit of space, so it's gonna be short and sharp. We're doing two on each leg, okay? So if I'm gonna take off here, and I'm taking off my left leg, that's one. Any questions? Not just a heap of yes. I might've glitched out there according to Chase. Okay, and we're taking off, pushing off, taking off our left leg. Good work. Now two on the right. So taking off, trying to get up as high as you can. We're not going for distance. We're not going for, for length in our jump. We're going for max height. All right, come and watch a couple of you guys. So the form is really important. The form in how we do this exercise is really important. That's it, Caleb, get up and touch that rim. There we go, good boy. Good, James. Good, Aiden, well done. Good job, Ava. Yep. Good, good, good. So again, like a layup with this, with this one, try and take off on the same leg you'd be going, so if you're leading, so if you're going up right knee, go up right leg. Try and go up right knee, right leg. Good. That'll help you with your momentum a little bit, Tom. Oh, Alessandra with the dunk, I like it. Good job. If you've got that hoop there, I know not everyone gets access to a hoop, so we're lucky if we can. But yeah, try and use that as a guide. That'll be, it'll make the session a little bit more fun, especially when we get into our sports specific stuff. Good job, Ruby. Good job, Colton. Even if it's just grabbing the net, trying to touch the net, you older kids definitely can do this on an eight foot. We're gonna grab our basketballs in a second. And hopefully we can actually get some dunks in. Good job, Alessandra, that's awesome. 
We're going to get our basketballs out and actually finish off with some dunking sort of movements. Zave's moved out of the hoop there. He's, he's about to rip that off, Dan. Zave's about to rip that down. Okay, guys, so let's grab our basketballs. If you're not already outside, if you're waiting to move outside and come near a hoop, if you've got a lowerable hoop, if you don't, you can still do these movements. You can absolutely still do these movements. That's why we haven't done a, a heap of volume up until this point. We've got 10 minutes to go. We're just going to move outside to a hoop or some space. I'm just going to hotspot here just in case my Wi-Fi disconnects. <clears throat> and we'll move out to our move out to our hoop. Luckily, it's a beautiful morning. Disconnect a little bit here while I swap over. Different Wi Fi's. Hopefully that comes in okay. It just said on your screen, it just says um, Frank some basketball on it. Yeah, I think it's just reconnecting, Hunter. There we go. I should be back now, mate. Yeah, I'm just coming and got there. All righty. We're going to go outside now. So I'm going to pick you guys up. You're going to move around. Get a little, little tour of the house here. Okay, we are out to our hoops. So again, if you don't have a hoop, don't stress. If you can't get one throughout this program, you can still do you can still do the session. Yeah, it's okay, Hunter. I've turned my camera off, mate. Okay. All right. So we should be outside at our hoop now or outside with a little bit of space. If you, if you don't have a hoop, that's okay. If you don't have a hoop, that's okay. We're out, out in the beautiful sunshine and we're out working at our, our, hopefully our lowerable hoop now. Okay, if you've got one. If you don't, that's okay, don't stress. So what we're going into now is you're gonna get the balls, you're gonna get your basketballs, we're going to do one foot, uh, sorry, two foot takeoffs. So similar to our, similar to our penultimate buildup. Okay, similar to our penultimate buildup. Can I just get you guys to mute? I think it's you, Hunter. Still, can you just mute if if you don't have a question? Thanks, mate. Okay, so our penultimate buildup. So I'm here. I'm going to start a couple of meters away from my hoop. All right. Again, I'm going to lead with my right leg first and it's just boom, boom. So it's just two steps, okay? It's just those two steps that we need to do here. Just those two steps so we don't want to get carried away with two steps. So I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna take off, I'm gonna push off my left foot, lead with my right foot, boom, boom, take off and dunk. Okay, or get up as high as I can. So we're working on that movement, we're using our hoop as a guide. So I'm pushing off, boom, boom, and dunking, okay? So we're here, we put, push off, plant right. Okay, remember that arm swing, but we've got our basketball now, so we're gonna have to get used to having that basketball in our hands. So right, left, and up. So we plant right, left, and get up as high as we can. Once we've done that, we're doing that five times on either leg. So we're starting to build up a little bit of a sweat here. So we're going right, left, take off. If you don't have a hoop, if you don't have something, I've got the side of my carport here. Yeah, I don't need a hoop. I can use that as a guide. Okay, so how high up on that I can get. All right, so use something. It could be, it could be a wall, it could be a carport, it could be the side of the garage, okay? Still doing our right, left, get up as high as you can, okay? You don't have to have a hoop but we just want to get outside for this last little bit. For those that do have uh, a hoop. I have a question. Um, Far if, away. If you can't touch the top of the ring, do you still use your ball um, to touch the net or do you just use your hands? Hands, yeah, good question. Good question. Just use your hands, mate. So if, you, if, you're, if you're not able, if your hoop doesn't lower, yours looks pretty fixed there. Um, you just want to use your hand. Just get up and touch as high as you can. That's it. Good job. Get up and touch as high as you can on the net. Remember the footwork. So if you've done, I've just done five right, left. Now I'm going to go five left, right. 
Okay, so I'm going to change sides of the basket here. I'm going to come across. Now I'm going left, right. Okay, get up as high as you can. Left, right. Okay, so we're not doing one foot takeoffs yet, but any of that exercise is good. Anything trying to get up as high as you can is good. So we're left, right. So this one, boom, boom. So we're going left foot first. So we're pushing off our right foot, plant our left. If you've got the ball, you might need to swing it down and come up. I don't expect to get this right in the first session, guys. So I'm not going to critique your jumping technique. Everything's good, yeah? Everything getting outside and trying to jump at that hoop is good. Especially the girls. This is fantastic. Unreal. It's great to see. Get up and dunk that, Alessandra. I want to see it dunk here. Yeah, <laughs> so close. Good job. Our girls are going to be dunking by under 18s. I guarantee it. So left, right, take off. Five on each leg. Once you've done that, we're starting to run out of a bit of time. We're going to go to one leg takeoff or one foot takeoff. So again, five on each side. So make sure you're doing everything evenly on either side of the body. So some of you might already moved on to one foot takeoffs. All right. Again, you can step right back depending on how much space you've got. I've just been doing our penultimate, okay, which just means one, two. Penultimate just means two steps leading into a dunk, okay. Now, and taking off two feet. Now we're taking off one foot. Okay, so I'm going to take off, I'll start on my opposite leg. So I'm going to take off my right foot first. I'm going to take a, I might even take a dribble and then take my two steps and get up as high as I can. Okay, so taking off like you would a layup. If, you, if you're at a hoop and it's lowered and you still can't get up at the rim, okay, so I'm seeing a couple of our 12s there, um, you know, Colton, uh, Zach. Even, yeah, a few of you guys, if you can get up and dunk, great. If you've got a hoop that only comes down to eight, put the basketball down for a couple of sets. Uh, sorry, for a couple of reps. So the basketball is really handy if we can actually dribble it and get up and dunk it, okay? But if you can't, it's probably important that you just practice the movement, trying to explode as high as you can. So try and explode up and touch the ring or touch the net. Or as I said, use the side of your carport as a bit of a guide. All right, so single leg takeoffs now. Five on either leg. This is a 10 foot hoop too, just if anyone was wondering. That's definitely regulation, sort of just. Okay, so five on each leg. So again, there's no. No better feedback for well, I could sit here and watch each of you individually, but there's no better feedback than actually doing the movement and practicing it regularly with a hoop or with something as a guide and feeling like you're getting a little bit higher each week. So I'm going to my, my left foot take off now. So taking off my left foot. So you should have done five on either side of your body. Now, hopefully you've got one of these hoops that might be able to go up and down. I'll just put that up to 10 and a half feet. Hopefully you've got one of these hoops so that you can, you can measure it each week. So you can put it up. You might have to put it down one week. Okay, you might even add some different moves in, but just practicing taking off and exploding at that hoop as quickly as you can. All right, does anyone have any questions? We're coming to the end of our session now. For those of you that have time and you want to stay out in the sun this morning, get some shots up, put that hoop, <laughs> put that hoop back up to, to 10 feet if you're getting some shots up, if you've lowered it down. Otherwise, if you want to keep working on some dunks, um, particularly you older kids, I can see there's quite a 16s in today's session, which is terrific. Um, you guys, this is a perfect type of morning for you guys to be getting out there and trying to get up as high as you can and rip that rim off, yeah? Uh, does anyone have any questions? Hunter, you got a quick question, mate? Fire away. Um, what, what's the 4.30 lesson about today? Oh, that's flexibility. See you, Adam. See you, Lainey. See you, Alana. If you've got to go, guys, take off. That's flexibility, mobility. So it's, uh, oh, good, Armstrong's.
That's a great point, actually. You don't have to use a basketball either. If you've got a tennis ball, use a smaller ball. We'll do that next week. Great job. Um, so Hunt Arts Mobility today at 4.30. So we're going to do some foam rolling. See you, Maddie. See you, Jenkins. We're going to get up. Bye, Jared. Um, we're going to see you later. See you, boys. See you later. See you, Lockie. So, yeah, so 4.30 today, guys, is mobility. Bye. So foam rolling. Bye. Some different Bye. mobility Bye. exercises. Great job, guys. Bye. See you later. See you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thanks, Thanks Jared. Uploaded Bye. Later on. No worries. See you, Mason. See you, Kylie. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. See you, Thank you. See you Bye. See you later. This session will be uploaded later on. If anyone wants to watch it, um, as well as the session plan. Hey, Jody, are you hey, dunking, sure. Jody? Or? Got the, we've got the barking Labrador in the background every time Harrison bounces the ball. <laughs> see you, Dan. Good on you, Dan. Yeah. See you, Zoe. Oh, All see right. you, Can you dunk that one, Harrison? Can he get up and dunk that? Or is that Harrison is that can Harrison? dunk that. Oh. Yeah, good. That's good. See you, Armstrong. Thank you, guys. Great idea with the tennis ball. You, you've reminded me of that. Eight That's a great foot, yeah. Oh, good. So he's got the eight foot. Yep. Can it go up? Harrison, how far can that go up? Put it back up. It goes up. up. Ten. Yeah, it does go up. Good. Yeah, nice. So Harrison can work on That's it. His, his goal by the end of the year is to dunk that. Yeah, good. good. That's all right. We'll get there. Chase, do you have a question, mate? Really quick. Can you get um some trivia um for the end of next session? <laughs> I don't think there'll be trivia in this one, mate. I'm sorry. We've got too much to get through. Maybe one of the sessions later in the week. We'll see how we go. Yeah. We'll see what the feedback's like. We'll try and get some trivia in. But I wanted to make this as, as much about basketball and, and activity as possible. Yeah, thank you. Good on you, Chase. See you later. Yeah. All right. See you, see you Jody. See you, Harrison. Okay. See you guys.